how to make an ice material in Blender. Hey guys, girls, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again. You can see we have the most simple node setup you probably have ever seen in your life. Uh, we're gonna break this thing down, and I'm gonna show you guys this uh, this ice material really quickly. It is hyper simple. It took literally four minutes to come up with this, and that was basically it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. So let's get started. We have, of course, the principal BSDF shader, which is the default shader that the uh, material comes with. And the only thing that I changed was um, the transmission is set all the way up to one instead of, I believe it was all the way at zero. Um, it's all the way up at one now. Like, okay, well, just give it some time to load. It's all the way up to one, and I changed the IOR because the IOR of ice is 1.309. So that's the only two, two, two things I changed right here. And then, of course, we added a bump node, which is a shift A search, and then bump right there, put that bad boy there, and then just plug it into the normal. We also have a color ramp node, which is shift A search color ramp. You guys know how much I love color ramp nodes. Um, and then we have the last node, which is a noise texture node. So shift a search noise, noise texture, boom. Now the values that we have here, um, we have the bump plugged into the normal of the principal BSDF. And then we have the noise color plugged into the height and into the factor of the color ramp. And the color ramp is plugged into the roughness from the color output. There you go. So now with that, all that, with all that done, English, don't know that language, beyond me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drag the white uh, line a little bit further to the left here, so you can see, essentially what this is doing is it's making it look like some of the pieces are a little bit darker, some of them a little bit lighter, um, which makes it appear as if there's some wet spots, there's some darker spots, um, and just ice is really super inconsistent this way, so if you look at a couple, if you look at a couple pictures of ice, or like a, uh, condensed glaciers or whatever you wanna say, um, which is, that's still ice, Kai, what are you talking about? Um, you can see that it looks uh, very similar to this with the different colors, the lighter, dark, darker spots. Um, some are wet, some are a little bit more compact. Uh, maybe there's snow on some of it. But yeah, so then we of course have the noise texture, which the scale is on 5.6. The detail is on 14.6. The roughness is on 4.8, uh, sorry, 0.483. And the distortion, I bumped up to one just for a little bit of extra little zest, you know, just a little bit of whoosh and swoosh, a little bit of dash and cash, you know what I'm saying? And then we have the bump, finally, we have the strength set to 0 0.708, the distance set to 0.3, and I checked invert because I believe it looked a little bit better than the regular um, bump setting. I didn't really like it the way that it looked, if it would load anytime this millennium. There you go, it looks like it's being pushed out. It looks kind of strange, I, I don't know, I don't like it as much. So I hit invert, which makes it look like it's kind of chipped and it's kind of like going inwards instead of bulging outwards. So that is basically all the things that we've done here. Literally, that's it. And then just, this all goes into the material output. This looks really, really cool. And it's very, very easy to do. As you can see, I'm here in the uh, the material output. We can switch the scene so you can get a different uh, vibe for it. But it is just so easy to do this. This could also be a moon if you make it not transparent. So if you turn tr transmission all the way back down and change a couple of the settings. You can also make it like a moon or a planet, but this is very cool. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, I, I guess uh, you can click on one of these two tutorials in the top or the bottom, the left to the right, you know, I, you know hey, who knows? You know, uh, maybe if you click one, the, the tooth fairy might visit you. I, I don't know, maybe, potentially, you know, you never you never know what's gonna happen. You know, it's uh, the, the, future's, the future can't be, t it's no, okay, bye.